In 1991, the civil war in Somalia began due to political unrest, resulting in the community to search for places in the world that they would be able to relocate to. Somali refugees seeking safety during this time of civil unrest sent out scouts to many areas of the world, and one scout reported back that Minnesota would make a suitable home for the displaced community. Minneapolis soon became a new home where Somali people gathered, sought connections, and began to rebuild their communities. As the Somali population grew in the United States, many individuals began to bring over elements, including cherished items of their old lives, to their new locations. From our interviews, we learned that some individuals struggled to merge the identities of being a Somali immigrant and a U.S. citizen. One Somali individual in Minneapolis had a plan to preserve Somali heritage through collecting artifacts from Somalia. The birth of the museum began back in 2009 when Osman Ali began collecting and preserving artifacts from his native Somali traditional nomadic culture. He started his collection in the basement of his parents' restaurant back in Somalia, collecting hundreds of sculptures, everyday items, and more to conserve the history and lifestyle of Somalia. As the collection grew, he began to transfer them over to Minnesota, giving initiative to start a museum to showcase these artifacts. Now with over 700 pieces, it has become the largest Somali museum in America. Um, it speaks about um, the vessels that we have, um, how important camels are to Somali peoples, and then it moves into a separate room um, where we talk about agriculture and we talk about some of the, um, the goods that are being made, usually traded goods or goods that families would make um, and, you know, to eat their foods or to carry their stuff or some of the things that are used in homes like furniture that are made from um, you know, animal skin or woven or what have you. And then we have the last part of the room. Oh, sorry, the, there's another room that kind of talks about womanhood and then transitions into the introduction of Islam versus you know culture and how that happened. Um, and it also uh, talks about the, the goods that we traded so there's a lot of frankincense and myrrh and akashia bark over there and that last room um is the um, nomadic hut the nomadic home um as well as our celebration and our weapons so drums and the weapons that we use for hunting and for fighting one element that was highlighted in our interviews was how the Somali Museum of Minnesota is used as a hub for community engagement and enrichment. The best people you interact with are children who come in to learn about their own culture and they just get to run and bounce around the place. Um, and they don't treat it as like a museum or anything fragile, but like a space in which they can interact with their own culture. And you get to watch them like bounce in between each other. Like, oh my god, my mom used to do that. Oh my god, <laughs> that thing. I remember the camels when I went back home, I saw one, it's so tall. And oh my god, da 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 da. And you can watch someone like light up and feel like the space is like enriching them. Mm -hmm. As a group, we enjoyed our time at the Somali Museum of Minnesota. As we walked through the space, we entered a world of artifacts we have never encountered before. We were shown a window into their lives and were able to immerse ourselves into a scope of Somali traditions, families, lifestyles, and more. With the new perspective and a warm welcome for the museum, we wish them nothing but the best as they plan to expand their space at a new location, growing their community and resilience.